Hello everybody, it's me, Stefan, from the Contentful DevRel team. You might know that I'm really excited about the Contentful CLI. So what I want to show you in this episode is my favorite command. Let's head over to my terminal. In my terminal, I now can execute Contentful Guide. This will do a lot of things. So let's go through them step by step. First thing is that the CLI asks for a space name because it will set up a new space for this new web project. A space is a collection of content like for example for a website or an application. But let's stick with the default name here, which is get started guide. It now shows what the command would be to create a new space using the contentful CLI. In this case, it would be contentful space create minus minus name, well, and, and the given name. Fortunately, it also offers us to immediately execute this command. So let's do that instead. Cool, the new space was created. Next step is to fill this space with data because we can't do much with an empty space, right? Every content operation Contentful can be done using the web application, but also using the API. This means that you can import and export data programmatically and automate particular operations with some scripting. There's no need for database dumps or anything like that. We offer tools that are called Contentful Import and Contentful Export to perform exactly those operations. Contentful Import is what is used by the CLI under the hood right now, and it uses a predefined JSON file that describes all the content. So let's see what the execution of this command looks like and hit enter. What you see now is that it downloads a content model file and starts filling the new space with data. Overall, I just imported two content types, four entries, and four assets. Nice! Let us just quickly confirm that the data import worked. I can now head over to app.contentful.com and here we have the content types I just created. Now it's time to download the application that uses this newly created space. I'm fine with saving this new source code in my user directory. So let's confirm that. What happens now is the following. It downloads some source code, runs automatically npm install for me, generates the needed access tokens, and creates a configuration file. And done. Cool. I just created a new contentful project. Then let's run the app directly inside of the CLI. npm run dev now starts a new web server at localhost 3000. So let's go there. Nice. What you see here is an example application that is based on the Nuxt.js framework, which sits on top of Vue.js. Nuxt provides a way to run code dynamically on a node server, and it also gives you the options to use it as a static site generator, which I personally find really nice, because this way I can generate all the HTML files up front, and then for further navigations, the JavaScript takes over and everything is rendered dynamically. This results in a great performance and user experience. For further information, check the readme of the project, which is linked in the video details below, or head over directly to the documentation of Nuxt, which is also linked. It's honestly pretty good and an easy read. The example app includes an article section and article views and is completely powered by Contentful. Nice. And this means when I now head over to the Contentful web app, I can edit all the content there, and this will then be visible inside of this new application. So let's change the blog post now. I choose the Hello World one and change the title and append Getting Started. Hit Publish. Done. Back to the example app. Refresh. Boom. Now you see that the changes are applied. We at Contentful see this application as a starting point. It includes the JavaScript SDK and it shows you how you can implement general functionalities. The thing is, you can build almost everything with Contentful. So please, let me know what you built. And this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, see you next time.